Hey friends, in the video today, I wanna to talk about lies and I also wanna talk about a truth. In our world right now, I believe there are a lot of lies. Some of them we tell ourselves, others are just out there in the media. It seems every day there is so much going on in our world, so much confusion. There's also though a truth. There's a truth in this sea of lies. Well, there's many truths, but one of them I wanna discuss is dividend stock investing. I wanna talk about my life a little bit because I'm getting older, I look back on my life, I reflect, and I wanna share with the community lessons I've learned, many of them the hard way. So one lie, big lie that I told myself that I think a lot of people out there in the world tell themselves every day is really looking at the job as a religion, looking at the job as something so important, more important than anything else. I'll tell you in my early years when I was working in Silicon Valley in the tech industry, I was working really hard. Um, at one company, I was staying up until 3 a.m. every night. It was really crazy. But it was good in some ways. I was making a high income and I was using that to invest in dividend stocks at the expense of pretty much everything else in life. But it wasn't only about the money. It was about fe the feeling I had of building value. I was building something so important. I was building value. I was adding lasting value. At least that's what I felt at the time. And um, by building that value, I was going to earn, and I did earn these positions, these promotions that I could put on my LinkedIn, I could feel good about myself, and I could advertise to the world, hey, I made it, I'm the boss, I have this fancy title. And um, that was kind of my world back then. It was really interesting. I looked at my job or the different jobs I had as a religion in many ways. Now I wanna share with all of you, first and foremost, I'm always advocating for anyone watching my videos to do your best work. When I go into my job every day, whether it was back then or whether it is now, I always do my absolute best work. And I think that's really important. Who wants to go in and do a bad job? We were all placed here on this world to do our best work. That being said, it's important to have perspective. And that's what I'm sharing with all of you today. I just wanna share um, at a high level, many of the projects I worked on in those early years, in fact, maybe 100% of them are completely obsolete. And so you'll see many of these green squares you'll see on the uh, illustration here, they're crossed out in red. The reason they're crossed out in red is I'm looking at this trajectory, this growth of this hypothetical company at a place in time, a few years into the company, many years into the company. You can see the snapshot in time is taken at the end of the chart. It's a snapshot where you see that orange dashed line. Now at that point in time, I'm kind of looking back at the company. I'm taking a snapshot in Ill an analysis of this company. I'm looking, hey, of all the projects that employees did over the years, these are all the projects, these squares, um, different employees worked on them. People put their lives into them. Some people worshiped these projects at the expense of everything else, including their health in some cases. Most of these squares, you'll see, unfortunately, they're crossed out in red. That's just how it is. That's how a lot of these companies are. I'm speaking mainly about the tech industry, but I would imagine in other industries, it's like this as well. It takes many projects to get just a few that work. And it changes over time. As time passes, most of those projects from years ago they're just obsolete. They're gone. They don't exist anymore. I'll give you a corner case, an extreme case, but one of my early jobs was at a startup that got acquired for over $1 billion. Now, if I go to the website address of that startup today, it doesn't really resolve anymore, at least the last time I looked at it. I haven't looked at it recently, but it seems as if it's gone. The whole company is gone. So many people did all these green boxes. They put in the work but it's gone, it's obsolete, there's no lasting value. Why am I bringing up all of this? I believe as humans, we're placed here on this earth to really build value, and a lot of us wake up every morning and we're looking for ways, how can we build value? And one of the lies that we tell ourselves is that all of the projects we're working on are more important than anything else. And I do think it's important to put our best effort into everything we do, but I wanna let you know there's another way. And that other way is moving from the employee class to the investor class. And of course, all of us need to be employees to generate income to invest, but it's interesting. Here's where things really 
change. There's a shift in how it all works. When you move from being employee, which is represented by the green boxes to investor, you move from just being represented by a few of these green boxes to being represented by the entire illustration. And you can see over time that a company, it will always evolve, especially I'm talking in general here, but I'm talking about world-class dividend paying stocks held in a very well diversified portfolio. Maybe this hypothetical portfolio has a hundred of these companies. Maybe it's held through an ETF that picks the best dividend stocks. One of the ETFs I own, SCHD, I think it's a good barometer just for the overall dividend investing space. I love that one. That's a ETF that I personally own. But when Someone moves from being an employee represented by maybe one or two or a few of these green boxes, maybe all of them crossed out to investor. The person moves in life from putting all of their eggs, all of their time into this basket that may have no lasting value into going to a higher level that has value. A well-diversified portfolio of dividend paying stocks can have an opportunity to live on forever and it can grow forever. It can spin off cash flow forever. It can give cash flow not only to yourself, but to future generations possibly forever. And this is really a great comparison where we have a lie we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves, hey, if I just work on this project and I do my best, I'm creating this value for myself and for the company that is so important that it will never end. Now, maybe that's the case for someone who invented some breakthrough technology, but for most of us out there, that's a lie we tell ourselves because unfortunately, a lot of those projects, they're just gone. They're just completely gone. There's no lasting value. But the same person has an opportunity to take income, active income from a job and invest it in a well-diversified portfolio of world-class stocks. And that value there can live on forever. Despite many of the projects underneath getting crossed out, we know there's those few projects that catapult the enterprise forward and the dividends forward as well. And I believe this is a truth that's important for many people to realize because all of us want to be happy in life. And I believe it's important to be building value, lasting value, to be truly happy in life because those people that never realize this, that just keep focused on these projects, project after project at the expense of everything else, I worry that this lie will catch up with them in terms of their happiness. I know this firsthand because I lived this in my early years. Now, I want to share with all of you, this isn't um, all jobs or all careers. I'm speaking very much here in general, and I'm speaking to specific experiences I've had in my life. But check it out on the screen right now. I want to share just my experience working. And in some industries, the work is really meaningful and long lasting. Now, a personal example is real estate development. That's where I am now. I love developing real estate because when I construct a building in general, I believe it's going to be there forever, especially if it's well maintained. This is an industry that really aligns with my value of with my scarce time in life, adding lasting value to this planet that can go on possibly forever. Now, a non-personal example is maybe a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I imagine doctors out there, they work very hard, but it's fulfilling because the kind of work they do, it can save lives. And that's something that really is long lasting and meaningful. But there's other industries where the work is less meaningful. It has a lifespan. And my personal example, as I shared today, is just uh, the company I worked at that was acquired for over a billion dollars, but the website doesn't exist anymore. Um, now, I do want to say in terms of a silver lining, the relationships that we build, even if we work on projects that get crossed out, it's so important to work hard because we can mentor other people. We can build friendships. We can build partnerships with other people. And I believe that kind of secondary value, it can live on forever. So that's kind of the silver lining of all of this. But I want to um, just share with all of you in life, there are some truths. There's a lot of lies we're told. I, I don't need to go through every lie we're told, but here are a few. Check it out on the screen right now. I'm not even going to go through all these, but these are just some kind of lies or hard truths that I think it's, it's impossible um, to really go through all of this in one video, but um, check it out at your own, your, your, at your own discretion here. And I'm not trying to... 
cause kind of um, dismay or kind of bring bring everyone down watching the video because it's sad these days these are hard truths it seems that i'll just look at the first bullet point boy in politics and media these days it seems like it's intentionally there to add confusion it seems like the politicians are intentionally trying to sabotage um society it's it's sad uh these are just some hard truths out there hey your boss and your coworkers always have your best interests at heart unfortunately I've worked at companies where that's not the case. I had a boss one time that I know did not have my best interests at heart, and I could easily sense that very quickly. And so it's, now of course I've had great bosses as well, so um, that's just life, but there are hard truths that we all have to realize. I think a lot of people are looking up to false idols. They're worshiping certain celebrities, and a lot of this is coming to fruition now that, boy, a lot of these celebrities we looked out, uh, looked up to, they're, they're really bad people. I'm realizing this the hard way myself, because I used to listen, uh, I still do, but uh, certain, certain folks um, associated with just the music I listen to, boy, it's, it's sad to see things come to light that are completely changing how I looked at them. And so we live in a world of a lot of hard truths, a lot of lies, but here I am in my 40s and I wanna share with all of you that I believe dividend stock investing, it is a truth in a world where we tell ourselves lies and where we're told lies and where it's just confusing. This is a truth in my opinion, when held in a very high quality companies that are very well diversified that can live on forever. It's a way we can build value for ourselves forever. And as you can see on the next slide, my last slide, I want to just show to all of you my consolidated life plan because I, again, believe the truth about life. Um, there's only so many ways to build lasting value and ongoing happiness, family, faith, helping others, dividend stocks, especially in a high quality, well-diversified portfolio. But I could say it doesn't even have to be dividend stocks. It could be stock market investing in general, um, exercise, education, and travel. That's kind of um, my life plan in a nutshell. That's really the way I look at things. Those are the things that can add lasting value and happiness. But if you're here, you don't know about dividend stocks, you're new to dividend stocks, dividends are for everyone. As you can see on the screen here in this last closing slide, I want to share with all of you that dividends, anyone can do it. It's truly passive. You own the company, it pays the dividend. In a well-diversified manner, there will always be dividend cuts, but there will be other companies that can increase the dividends. Um, employees at the company in which you invest, they're going to come and go. The initiatives they work on, they're going to fail and succeed. Many of them will be crossed out, but the company itself, speaking in general, in a well-diversified portfolio, it has an opportunity to last forever. Um, building a solid portfolio, in my opinion, it's a big deal. It's like starting a business that lasts forever. It's a life hack, if you will. Uh, it can have ongoing value for future generations. It has an opportunity to outpace out of control inflation. Here's a lie we're told. We're told inflation is 3%. We know it's not. Dividends have an opportunity to at least help someone keep up over long periods of time with out of control inflation. Um, it is an opportunity to replace active income, possibly in total. In my opinion, dividends, they're a truth in a world that seems to have more lies than ever before. All right, everyone, I want to see in the comments below, what do you think about this today? Did you live this the way I lived this in the early days of my career with some of these tech companies? I'd love to know, what are some lies that you believe uh, we're all being told these days? Put in the comments below or that you're telling yourself, how do you look at dividends? Do you look at it like me as something you're very proud of that you... Um, hold dearly in your own life. That's something that you look at as your legacy. That's how I look at it myself. I would love to know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the like button. It means the world to me. It really helps me out. Before I go, in terms of a full disclosure, I own the ETF that I mentioned today, SCHD. I have a lot of dividend investing videos on this channel, many of them talking about that ETF. So check those out. I'll try to link to some of them in the pinned comment below. 
Also, before I go in terms of a full disclosure, um, or in terms of a disclaimer, that is, uh, today's video, it's not investment advice. I'm not a licensed investment advisor. I'm just sharing my journey here on YouTube for fun and entertainment. It's possible to lose money in the stock market. Before you go ahead and invest, please consult your licensed financial advisor first. Just sharing my journey here on YouTube, and it's possible to uh, lose money in the stock market. I have all of my disclosures, disclaimers, as always, in the description below. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching the video today. I love you all. I'll see you in the next dividend stock investing video.